Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm actually into the garden. I have my bag with me. I have my pet lock with me. Actually I'm here to do my yam project, which I actually have talked about. So I've got two bags of yam. Within the two bags of yam I've actually got So today I came and I do a portion. One back here, here, and I have reached on top there. So actually, I'm going to be giving the whole land uh, yam culture because, as I said, this is what's going to make me do a double rotation for my animals together with my yam. Because I didn't want to use one land for only one thing. I wanted to have at least one land with two things in it. And I thought it about planting figs and stuff like that here. But if I'm going to have my sheep within it, then they were going to eat the figs. Okay. Um, they're going to pick up the leaves. Um, the figs are going to have a hard time coming up. So I think, as I said, and actually that brilliant idea had come to my mind that since yams are underground crops, I can plant with the yams there, they can take more chafing, so the animal is going to eat up all the grass, give them enough space to run, um, the strings are just going to run there, the animal is going to eat, so not, I'm not sure, and the land is going to be clean, and besides that, it's going to be manured, so I'm going to be getting some healthy yams here with my animals in here, doing that natural cycle. And then when the rain comes, everything's just gonna go back to it's just gonna fall back into place. So that's just what I have today. So stay tuned on my channel as I continue to actually fill this whole land with yams. Also I got some spice trees. And now I'm looking to take off my spices now. Uh, I wanna hold them there for some time still. Got a few trees on top and I have a big bottom tree right there. So actually I'm actually Having my backup garden, which is going to be my yam garden, um, I don't think anyone will actually know that I have doing my yams there, so I want to keep it like that, keep it secret, and I just want to have my animals inside of here, keep do their thing, you know, and continue reproducing the whole thing. And sooner or later, when I ready for it, it's going to come and ready. But actually, I want to see if I can plan as much as possible before I actually get the animals. bags yesterday, I did one bag today, I'm going to sell the bigger one, I'm going to do another bag, which I get some head, what I actually do to get my yam here is I actually have to go all the way to this piece of jungles, um, go all the way up to the top of the mountains, um, because there are persons who actually dig the yams, and they don't really plant the head back, so I go with my bag, and I collect the heads, chop them up, put them in the bag, make sure that they have a lot come down and I stay up and I take the yam heads and bring them back and I leave them there. I have a few yam already which I'll plant it up on the other side so I'm going to stay right there and then I'm going to focus on staying in the waters and not caging them for my sheep. And then with my sheep here, manure in the area, producing the area. And the range. I have a few ginger on the ground as well. I'm gonna leave that there still, so that when the rain comes, everything is gonna fall back into place. The manure is gonna be good. Everything is gonna just work out properly. So, I did try the ginger, and actually, the ginger is actually striving between the ships. Okay, so the ships are actually sometimes they break down the head of the ginger and stuff like that. So this is actually a no-no crop for doing a mixed cultivation with your animals, livestock, plus a little bit of farming. So what I did, I did an underground farm. You can do, you can do things like put these leaves because the ships are out and they're going to extract it and put the leaves. Things like this you can do. So I've sit down and I've think about the perfect idea and boom, it came and it was yam. And actually saying this, yam is a very, very, very high demanding product in my country. The sales for yam is actually really crazy. So, as I continue to stop. 
stock up the area. I'm going to continue stocking the area. Uh, I'm going to plant as much yams as I get. Okay. So if I actually fill up the whole um, garden with yams, then basically when coming to the seasons, I'm going to still have yams. And even though the, the, the whole place is filled, I'm still going to actually still continue collecting heads and just sticking back heads. So by the time I know it, this is just going to be a yam garden together with my animals. So thank you all for watching on my channel. I hope this is a very, very, very good mix cultivation in farming for you all. If you want to do two things with your garden, um, I recommend that you put yams together with your sheep. Okay. And that should be a good cut because if the, the yam stays below, the sheep stay on top. So I'm going to tell you as it goes, I'm going to tell you if there is any advantages, any disadvantages, which I know there shouldn't be. But if any new thing has come up to me, any strange thing has come up to me, I'm going to show you as well. So thank you all for watching and see you all in